We have another special guest I'd like to introduce, uh, Delegate Joe Morrissey. He is uh, he's uh, definitely been a friend to labor and working families, and uh, as you can see, he's here today. He was at the uh, nomination acceptance speech with us, and uh, without further ado, Delegate Morrissey. Thank, thank you, Chris. What I know is going to happen on election night. Barack Obama is going to look into that camera and he's going to thank one group for what they've done, and that's the AFL-CIO. Because they're, those affiliates, they have been the ones that are responsible for what has been the most miraculous, spectacular ground game we've ever seen in a presidential election. Let me give you an idea. There have been over 20 million people that were contacted by AFL-CIO on the phone. 1.5 million labor workers are out there knocking on the doors, and 12 million people have had their doors knocked on. Doors said that the campaign began in Bristol. It did. It went to Prince William County later that day, and it is going to end in a little over 90 hours, 80 hours uh, in Prince William County as well. And here's where we stand right now. So goes Virginia, so goes the United States in this election. End of story. We We take Virginia, we take Virginia, we capture the presidency. I heard Jim say a few moments ago, he was highlighting some of the things, uh, uh, and I heard, you know, this is, we're changing America in three days. But you know, it's more than that. I have never seen, and I'm older than some people in this room, younger than some people, but I've studied politics for a long time. I have never seen a person that's got the, not just charisma, but the substance to lead this country. I mean, this is a gentleman, you know, when he got out of, uh, uh, I know how difficult it is to, to when get on law review and, uh, in law school. He was the uh, head of law review. When he graduated from Harvard, he could have gone anywhere, and he went back to Chicago to work for working men and women in, in, in his native state. And then didn't take a four or $500,000 job, but started organizing folks. Um, and when he speaks about a change, he talks about specifics, about restructuring a health care in this country that helps everybody. And stop spending $10 billion, you know, on a, on a, in a war and spending that money on jobs in America. And that's number one, his number one goal, to create jobs. And the thing that I like most about him is that there, he is inspiring hope whereas the McCain camp is inspiring fear. In 2008, it's our time, it's our turn, and in three days, we will turn this state blue. No question. I, I look out here, and I, I, I mean, I see these energetic, enthusiastic, ebullient faces. I am so, I'm, I'm honored to be here. I'm so grateful that you've come out. You've registered. My district is the number two district throughout the state uh, and registered voters, and it's because folks in the AFL-CIO went out there and did that. Thank you for coming down here. This is, this is the final push. We've got the lead. We've got the ball. There's two minutes to go in the game. We need to continue that push uh, for just three more days, and we do that, we've got the election.